we're working on the character arc today and we're getting into some of the character development. We need to get to know the main character and some of the other characters that are going along for the ride, okay? So a character is revealed by what they do and by what they say. You can watch one scene in a movie and typically that introductory scene, the scene where that character first appears in the script, you're gonna learn a lot about them in that one scene. Okay, that's done on purpose because you need to make sure that their entrance is a strong one. So the things that they do, I want you to make a list of all the things that they do. You know, what's their backstory? What's their everyday like? Uh, you know, do they have a job? What is it? Hobbies, habits, fashion style, tics, hairstyle, like all the things that are listed there. And there's lots more, you know, like I have this one character that um, he goes in to see his boss, but he doesn't just walk in. He barges in, runs over, hops over the back of the chair and like sits cross-legged because he's got this brilliant idea. And he starts like talking and then his boss just kind of stares at him. He's like, oh yeah. And he runs back, knocks at the door and waits. Like, so we understand that this guy is impulsive. He doesn't necessarily understand boundaries, you know, all in that first like 10 second introduction of him we've learned something. We know he's not going to just give up on this story when his boss tells him not to go for it, right? Anyways, that's just an example. But the other thing is by what they say and how they say it. Okay, so figure out if your character has an accent. Do they use short sentences? Do they use long sentences? Are they awkward when they speak? Maybe they stutter. Are they smart? Do they use intelligent language, large vocabulary? Or do they have a strange vocabulary like, uh, you know, a robot might? Um, what kind of attitudes do they have? Like some people, uh, you know, they, they just think they're better than everyone. And so it doesn't really matter what's going on. They're going to have this kind of attitude and that kind of thing. So there's going to be um, attitudes, the way that they use the language, and then how they behave all of those things are contributing to the character. And when you know that about your character, when you sit down to write them, it's going to come a lot easier. If you're sitting there and writing as you're figuring out who they are, then it's going to be disjointed even when you write it, like from who they are at the beginning and who they are at the end is gonna be different because you figured out along the way, oh, I think they should be like this. So if you figure it all out first, then when you dive in to write it, it'll almost write itself because you'll know how the character would respond to something. Are they going to interrupt or are they going to let somebody go on and say something and not say a word because they don't have the courage to speak up? You know, something like that. 